Welcome back, Warrior Cats enthusiasts, to another day in the life of Hawk Frost. Ooh, hoo, hoo, our evil boy. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off this speed paint in the book of Starlight, pages 205 through 208. And this is gonna be Hawk Frost's first meeting with his daddy, his um, scary tiger star daddy, yeah. And he's also gonna be meeting his half bro, so win win. Let's jump right into it. Cool grass swept across Brambleclaw's pelt as he prowled through the undergrowth. He could hear the scuttering of tiny creatures underneath the bushes, and his senses were flooded with the scent of prey. Before he could make a catch, he emerged into an open space. An almost full moon hung in the clear sky, outlining every grass stem and leaf with its pale silver rays. Just in front of him, the ground fell away into a cleft, with rocks jutting from its steep sides. Brambleclaw stared in astonishment. This was the ravine leading down to the old ThunderClan camp. He lifted his head and sniffed cautiously. There was no harsh tang of two-legged monsters in the air. No noise louder than the gentle rustle of wind in the trees. Their home was safe. The destruction of the forest, the fear, and the hunger, the long journeys into the mountains, had been nothing more than a dream. Rambleclaw pelted down the ravine to the gorse tunnel at the bottom, his heart nearly bursting with happiness. In a few heartbeats, he would see all of his clanmates again. Graystripe would have never been captured by the two legs. All of Ferncloud's kits would still be alive. The elders would be in their den, ordering the apprentices to get rid of their ticks. Trembling with excitement, Brambleclaw pushed his way through the gorse tunnel into camp. His jaws parted to let out a yowl of greeting. Then, he stopped dead. The clearing was completely empty, except for one cat sitting alone in the middle of the open space. The cat raised his head and gazed at Brambleclaw with soothing amber eyes. It was Tiger Star. Brambleclaw almost choked with shock and disbelief. Graystripe's capture, the death of Ferncloud's kits, the endless journey. All those things were real. This was the dream, and suddenly it had become a nightmare. Tiger Star kinked his tail and beckoned to Brambleclaw to come closer. Brambleclaw stiffened, and then padded slowly forward. As he drew closer, he saw his father more clearly. His muscular shoulders and broad head, his burning amber eyes. Welcome, Tiger Star rumbled. I have waited many moons to speak with you. Brambleclaw stopped a couple of tail lengths away. He had no idea what to say. All he could think was that he was the image of his father. The breadth of his shoulders, the shape of his head, the exact shade of his eyes. He could have been staring at his reflection in a pool. I have seen your courage and strength, Tiger Star went on. I am proud to call you kin. Um, thank you? Rambleclaw kneaded his forepaws into the ground. Why have you come here? Did Star Clan send you? I do not hunt with Star Clan. Spat Tiger Star. There is more sky than silver pelt, and there are hunting grounds that not even Star Clan knows of. His gaze slid past Brambleclaw. Welcome, he meowed. I had hoped you would come. I've looked forward to meeting you. Brambleclaw spun around to see Hawkfrost emerging from the gorse tunnel. He watched in stunned silence as the River Clan warrior padded across the clearing and sat beside him. The moonlight cast a pair of identical shadows on the hard-baked ground in front of them, and Brambleclaw realized that a half-blind kit would know at once that all three were kin. He told himself that he ought to feel something stronger than bewilderment and curiosity to find out more about his father and half-brother. They came from three different clans. Beyond that, Tigerstar had murdered many cats and betrayed his own clanmates to satisfy his hunger for power. Yet Brambleclaw could not shake off the feeling that he had waited a long time for this moment, for all the differences between them. The same blood ran in their veins. Are you Tigerstar? Hawkfrost asked, reminding Brambleclaw that Hawkfrost had arrived in the forest after his father was killed. Are you my father? Tigerstar nodded. I am. So, how are your new territories? It's it's hard being somewhere so different, Hawkfrost admitted. We all miss the forest, Rambleclaw added. 
Soon the land by the lake will seem like home to you, Tigerstar promised. Establish your boundaries and guard them with tooth and claw, because territory is what binds a clan together. Yes, Hawkfrost's eyes gleamed. River Clan has set its scent markers already. Yesterday, Black Claw and I drove out a badger that was living on our territory. Good, good. Tiger Claw's ears pricked, and he raised his head as if he heard a voice calling him. Above the trees, the sky was growing pale with the first lights of dawn. I must go now, the dark tabby meowed. Goodbye, Bramble Claw, Hawk Frost. We will meet again as we walk the path of dreams. Of that I am sure. He rose to his paws. At that moment, a cloud drifted over the face of the moon, plunging the clearing into darkness for a single heartbeat. When it cleared, Tiger Star was gone. I must go too. Hawk Frost touched noses with Bramble Claw and padded back to the camp entrance. No, wait, don't go! Brambleclaw called. I have to go! I'm on the Dawn Patrol! What are you talking about, Brambleclaw? Brambleclaw blinked and sat up. Plateau was looking at him with a puzzled expression as he groomed scraps of moss out of his pelt. Is there something wrong? He asked. Oh my goodness, so that's the end of the reading, but what? He just woke up and Cloudtail was like, Uh, oh, what? I'm, I'm, I've gotta go! I can't cuddle with you anymore, Brambleclaw! Why did you just touch your noses with me? That was kind of weird. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Awkward! He's like, I'm going on the Dawn Patrol now, um, bye! <laughs> bye! Anyway, so that was a really interesting speed paint. So he got to meet his brother, half-brother, Hawk Frost, in the Dark Forest realm for the first time. The Dark Forest took the form of ThunderClan's old camp for Tiger Star. Isn't that interesting? Just for him. I wonder what it resembled for Hawk Frost there. Well, we're going to be seeing that later in his week when he recruits Ivy Pod to the Dark Forest, so you guys just have to stay tuned for that. But I thought it was really funny when Brambleclaw was like, a half-blind kit could tell that we're all kin. We've got three identical shadows. It really is like there's Tiger Star clones now, isn't there? Oh my goodness, Tiger Star. He got a clones. clone machine and he just started cloning himself and he got all these evil babies and they're all boys other than <laughs> his useless little girl Mothwing. Aww. But she's great in her own way. And uh, Tawny. And Tawny Pell. Yeah, that's funny. He had like two identical sets of children. He had a boy and a girl and a boy and a girl. <laughs> Anyway, so we hope you guys enjoyed this speed paint and that you'll join us again for next time. Until then, bye-bye!